Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the very popular inertial bounce expression. I will also show you how to create slider controls to make it easier to adjust and customize the effect. I have left the inertial bounce expression in the description of this tutorial so you can copy and paste it and add it to your After Effects toolbox. You can use the expression on any of the transform properties. So here it is on the position property. Notice the nice little bounce. This is on scale. Here it is on rotation. And this is the opacity. It works on 2D and 3D layers. For sake of speed, I'm gonna keep the keyframes. I just have two keyframes for position, three for scale, three for rotation, and three for opacity. To add the inertial bounce expression to the position property, I'll select the expression. I'll press Command or Control C to copy it to my clipboard. I'll select the layer and tap P for the position property, then press the Option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to the property that you want to add the expression, and we're going to paste over it using Command or Control V. I'll tap the spacebar to preview, and you can see, just like that, we have a nice little bounce on the position property. So to bring up the additional keyframes, so Shift-R will bring up rotation, Shift-S to bring up scale, and Shift-T will bring up opacity. Then I'll press Option or Alt and click on the stopwatch next to each, Paste, Command-V. I'll do the same for rotation, Option or Alt, click, Paste, Option or Alt click on opacity, paste, tap the spacebar. There's the position, there's scale, there's rotation, and there's opacity. If you want to customize the expression, maybe you want more bounce or less bounce, well, you can play around with the values for these top three variables here. That's amplitude, frequency, and decay. I can do so down in the timeline by selecting the layer, tapping EE two times to reveal the expressions. I'll click inside the expression editor on the timeline. I'll change amplitude from 0.1 to 1. And now you'll see we have a whole lot more bounce. And now let me show you how you can add slider controls to make it a lot easier to customize the expression. So I'll select the layer, go up to the top menu, effect, expression controls, slider control. I'm going to duplicate this slider control two times. So I have one for amplitude, one for frequency, and one for decay. So I can just right click and choose duplicate or use the keyboard shortcut command or control D. To rename, I'll select the slider control, tap enter or return. This one I'll call position amplitude. Select, enter return, I'll call this one position freak for frequency and select, enter return, position decay. I'll duplicate them, Command or Control D, and then I just relabel these for each property. Select the layer, tap P for position, tap EE to reveal the expressions. I'm going to select the value for amplitude. I'll click on the pick whip next to the expression editor and drag it up to the slider control that I called position amplitude. I'll repeat that for frequency. I'll select the frequency value, expression pick whip, drag it on to position frequency slider control. I'll do the same for decay, expression pick whip, drag it to position, decay. I'll click off, scroll below, and just repeat this for each property. When you first set up the slider controls, all of the values get zeroed out, so there's no bounce until you add the values back in. And I'll just use the values from the original expression. I'll just click, enter the value, tab, and just repeat this all the way down. I'm just tapping tab. It may take a minute or two to set up the slider controls, but now it is so much easier to make changes to the expression as you don't have to go down to the timeline just select the layer, go to the effect controls, change any of the properties. You can also keyframe all of the individual variables, giving you full control and endless customization. That is the inertia bounce expression in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.